Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. We're going to start with a collective message for everyone, and then we'll move into the individual signs, and then we'll end with a little message, another little collective message. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I post new videos every single day, so lots of bingeable content on here. That was so loud, Jesus. I'll start with the collective. All right, someone has a message coming in. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. So someone is going to approach you. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Don't have to be, though. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, putting in work. This is a passionate message. I think this is about a relationship. We have the Four of Wands here. This is like marriage, contracts, all that good stuff. Overall, we have the Justice card and the Page of Pentacles reverse. I don't think... I don't think that this is going to be like a physical offer. I think that this is just going to be a message of passion. Um, I don't think that anything, I don't think that they're going to even ask you to like meet up for coffee. I think that this is going to be a very heartfelt message. Maybe not heartfelt, maybe very passionate. Um, if it was heartfelt, maybe the page of cups would be here. <coughs> Sorry, I just ate something that I'm allergic to. My throat is all messed up. <coughs> Sorry. Anyway, so this person is going to tell you that they really, really want to work on things with the Eight of Pentacles here. That's about putting in work. They're going to tell you that they want to put in work in this relationship. That's straight up. This is a relationship reading. Like, this is about a relationship. <laughs> and it doesn't even really have to be romantic. It, it could be, like, a parent coming back and being like, hey, I want to repair our relationship. Like this, but it's, it is a relationship, okay? They're coming in to, like, give some sort of karmic justice to a, to a situation. So they probably treated you unfairly in the past and that's why the justice card is coming in here. It's kind of like the universe stepping in and you're getting you're getting that karmic justice that you deserve. That was a terrible shuffle. Okay. <clears throat> Let's start with Gemini. Okay, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Oh, two of cups. Okay. Gemini, I see that you have a decision to make and you're kind of having a hard time doing it with the two of swords here. I think that there's a love offer that you either want to offer someone or you're waiting for someone to come in and offer you something. We have the five of pentacles reverse. You feel you, you really want to bring this relationship out of the cold. Like you don't want it to feel so isolated and abandoned anymore. You feel like maybe this relationship or this person was put on the back burner and now you're kind of wanting to move away from that energy. And then we have the 10, of, what is this? Oh, six of pentacles. We have the six of pentacles reverse. I would just be careful. I think that this person that you're dealing with may not want to um, give equally to the relationship. So I would just be careful with that. Overall energy, we have the hanged man and the high priestess reverse. Please listen to your intuition about this person. Listen to your intuition about this person, okay? Yes, there is a love offer here. Yes, they want to come out of the cold. But I think that you are going to understand that this person may not want to equally give what you want to give. Um, they are coming out of some sort of stagnancy, but please make sure to tune into your intuition about this person. <clears throat> okay. Oh, my throat is fucked up. Okay. Let's do Libra. Hi, Libra. How are you? What does Libra need to know? One more, please. Thank you. Oof. Okay, Libra, you have someone coming in to confess something to you with the Seven of Swords reverse here. This is someone that took something from you or maybe cheated on you. Maybe they ghosted you. They definitely took a lot of energy from you, though, in a, but in like a very negative way. You spent way too much time or energy on this person and all they did was kind of deplete you. And we have the artist. They're coming in because they see you as someone who can offer them a lot. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. They don't really have anything to offer this relationship. <clears throat> this doesn't have to be romantic. Um, we do have the Ten of Cups here. It, I mean, like, Ten of Cups, it can be very romantic, obviously. Like, look at them. But it can also deal with family as well. 
So you may have a family member coming back. This has kind of been a theme for air signs. You may have a family member coming in who has depleted your energy in the past. Um, and they're coming in to like kind of take some more from you. My throat is making noises. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. Anyway. <clears throat> Ooh, whatever I'm allergic to, that shit fucked me up. Anyway. No way the three wands reverse, like feeling very impatient. This person is going to come in and they're going to expect like a happy ending or like some sort of happiness, some sort of happy situation is just kind of like happen right away. And you're kind of like, dude, like you're like, you're an energy vampire. Like you, all you do is take, like, what do you expect from me? It's going to feel very, um, it's going to feel very off. There's something about it that's not going to feel right to you at all. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Like, you're just going to be like, I I don't want to get to this anymore. Okay, let's move to Aqua. This is a very interesting reading, Libra. Okay, Aqua, what's up? Aqua. Oh, boy. Okay, so you're moving on from someone. You're moving on from someone. You could have been dealing with another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the King of Swords here and the Six of Swords. You're moving on from this person. I think you're moving on from them because they didn't really give any emotion towards you. The King of Swords is someone who's very hard to get to. Emotionally, I mean. They can be nice and all, but... Emotionally, it's kind of like like a fucking brick wall, you know? Oh, air signs. <laughs> I say that as a aqua sun and moon. I do have an aqua stellium as well. So we can be brick walls when it comes to trying to get to us emotionally, you know? But you're moving on from this person. I think that you realize here with the nine of cups reverse that this person can't really offer you anything. And then we have the three of pentacles reverse. You don't, you're, you're really done collaborating with this person. This person may have also put you in third party situations as well. Yeah, you're moving on from this person. I don't think you. Overall, we have the chariot reversed and uh, the hierophant. We have cancer energy here. I don't know why. I don't really feel the need to read the... The zodiac sign for the Hierophant. I feel strong cancer here with the chariot reverse. This person doesn't want to move on from something. It's like they want the commitment from you. They want you in their life, but they also don't want to move forward in some sort of way. So it's like if something happened between you in the past, it's like you're kind of moving past that here with the six of swords, but they're not. But they still want you around. It's kind of like sweeping things under the rug, that kind of thing. Or letting them kind of like be an asshole and not really saying anything about it. So this is a very interesting reading. I don't like this person though. They feel very, um, it's not even really like nar narcissist vibes. It's very like this, with this person, it's either their way or the highway. Like, they don't want to collaborate with you. They don't want to work together with you. They just kind of want to do everything their way. They don't really want to hear you out, you know? Be careful with that person. Okay. A little ending message for the air signs. Ooh! <laughs> All right, air signs. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so you could have an offer coming in from another air sign or a Sagittarius. We have the Queen of Swords reversed here in the Temperance. I think you're gonna feel a little guarded when this offer does come in. I say offer because we have the Eight of Wands, fast movement, fast communication, fast action, and the Ace of Pentacles. It's like an offer. This is a physical offer. This is like a house, a windfall of money, an engagement ring, you know, something like that. Something you can hold in your hand. And then we have the Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. Whoever this person is, 
they want to start something very balanced and very grounded with you and I feel like you're going to feel very guarded and I think like throughout this whole reading I, I've been pulling for everyone that they're dealing with someone who doesn't really want to work with them on something but this person really wants to work with you and the queen of swords here I'm that's definitely the air signs I mean this is an air sign card Gemini Libra Aquarius um, you guys are feeling very guarded to this person very very guarded um, because the person that you just dealt with didn't want to do shit for you. You did everything. And, um, yeah. And of course the roles could be reversed. So take it, take how it resonates. You know, maybe, maybe someone's coming into you and they like want to give you everything, but like you are someone who doesn't want to give to another person. Like you expect people to kind of do everything for you, you know? And if that's the case, then, you know, look at that. If you really want a genuine relationship of equal give and take, you're going to have to give some too. You're going to have to give back as well. And air signs, we're, we're very, <laughs> we're very good at being guarded. We're very good at holding back emotions. So if you want a genuine relationship, you're going to have to work on opening up, being vulnerable, talking about your emotions, being honest. Yeah, but regardless, there's someone coming in here that wants to build something with you. The Ace of Pentacles is a little bit more slow moving energy. It's earth energy, so it's very grounded. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's very like building the foundations. And this person wants to come in hot. There is passion here, but then there's also the desire to build something long term, right? And they want to work together with you on this. They want this to be equal. They want this to be an equal partnership. So don't stay too guarded, okay? Rely on divine timing if you haven't seen evidence of this yet. Believe that it is coming for you, okay? Because you do deserve it. You deserve it. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Um, I was going to say something else. I can't remember. But I'm working on the December love readings right now. Those will be out December 1st at midnight. I post new videos every single day. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. My channel is growing very fast and it's making me so excited and I could not be this excited without the support of everyone who comes and watches my videos. Even like 10 views, like I know some people will look at that and be like, oh, that's not a lot. But I see it as progress and like that that's like 10 people watching my videos that means so much to me and I hope you guys know how appreciative I am of you guys being here and liking and subscribing and checking back and commenting and hanging out with me on TikTok it's been an amazing journey since I started YouTube and I just want you guys to know how thankful I am and with that I will see you guys all tomorrow bye